Young Christian, let me encourage you. You've just given your life to Jesus Christ. Your desire is to follow him. But suddenly you look around and you realize you're in you're in enemy territory. The world around you does not agree with what you believe. You believe Jesus Christ is your only hope. You believe Jesus Christ washed away all your sins. You believe Jesus Christ is coming back for you one day. The world around you may scoff you, laugh at you, debate you, do all that. Don't you worry none about it. All of Satan's crowd will zoom in on you and tell you how foolish you are, and they will ostracize you and treat you wrong. Don't you worry about it. Here's what you do. You keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. You follow the Word of God. Study the Bible every single day. Do the best that you can to read at least a chapter of the Bible a day. I encourage you to start in the Gospel of John, read a chapter every day, and just keep reading till you read all the way through Acts and then Romans and then right on through to the book of Revelation. That'll give you a good a quick start on how to follow Jesus Christ. But then, not only that, you keep your eyes on Jesus, you study the Word every day, you get involved in a good, solid, Bible-believing church. And I'm just going to tell you, there's a lot of churches out there that are not real churches. They say they are, but they're not. Don't you get tangled up in any of that that will ruin you. Let me encourage you to find one that believes that the Bible is the inspired Word of God. I'm Southern Baptist. I believe that Southern Baptists have held true to the Word of God. They're not the only ones, but they certainly are one. And I encourage you to get into a good Bible-believing church that you may grow by it. Be careful who you watch online because the truth of the matter is there's a lot of false teachers out there. You need to find that guy that sticks to the Word of God and loves Jesus Christ believes that the way of God is the right way and you follow him faithfully and then another thing that you need to do is you need, this is the biggest one this is this is the big one you love God with all your heart and you say how do you love God first thing you start praying, God, teach me how to love you. I want to know how to love you. I want you to show me how to love you. And what God does is he answers that prayer because that prayer is according to his will. And so if you ask something according to his will, we have the confidence that he will give us what we ask for. So ask God to teach you how to love him with all of your heart. Teach you, Ask God to teach you how to be thankful for the blessings God gives to you. And you follow after God. And though all your friends depart, and though all the people around you are against your views. You do this. You believe in Jesus Christ. You follow him and he will give you the encouragement, the boldness. He will give you the compassion. He will be your friend walking with you for the rest of your life. Ask me how I know. I've been walking with him for 44 years. I know Jesus is true. He showed up in my life in so many ways. He's the greatest decision I ever made was whenever I put my faith in him and he saved my soul. He saved me. He saved you. You keep following Jesus no matter what all the scoffers say. You trust God. Trust his word. Get involved in a family of believers and you love God with all your heart. Come on, y'all. Let's follow Jesus.